Welcome to Shore Perspectives, a community feature of WESR Radio, highlighting the spirit of the shore from those who call it home. Uh, I'm Linda Barlow. I did live on Sparrow Point Road beside, next door to Joanne. I uh, recently moved to Jamesville, so still on the shore. Well, my late husband and myself moved um, to this Sparrow Point Road uh, in 97 and Joanne and her husband Bobby moved here in 98 next door to us and we became instant best friends. When Bobby died, uh, Lou and I adopted her uh, because we're that much older. She could have been our child. So, uh, But you don't act it. But whatever. <laughs> so whatever she wanted to do, then that's what we did. And she took us through many, many, many adventures along the way. Joanne Hesse Machapongo. I was actually working as a contractor cleaning up Superfund sites um, all over the country, contracts with FBI, other places, moved down here because as long as I could get to an airport and my husband would work with me when I needed him, then um, it was we were golden and fell in, did a job up by um, Shinkatig, the Cropper Reserve Base, did some work there and fell in love with the Eastern Shore. And, and after my, my husband had gotten sick and I couldn't really travel anymore, and I had always wanted to be a nurse, so I figured, well, let's go back to school and do that. So I became a nurse. Basically, that was a decision made at probably 35 years old because I was 38 when he died, and then I graduated the following year. Then I was diagnosed with MS basically the year after Bobby, my husband, died. And so I was still working then as a nurse and continued to work until my body just gave out. I was probably 38 when I learned I had MS, and I'm now 58. So this has been a very long and very hard 20 year battle. It's getting harder and harder each day. It progressed from a limp when I was walking, a very noticeable limp that to the point that I was working in a hospital, I was like, people are gonna think I'm drunk. So I would walk along walls all the time. And then, um, then I needed a cane then I needed a walker and then I've been in a wheelchair basically for the past four or five years I would say. It's getting harder and harder each day. I am bed bound. Our insurance says, what was the number? I made $21 too much and for that reason I can't get Medicaid. So now I am paying for like basically 10 hours of AIDS a day out of pocket for for my care. She was diagnosed, of course we were um, so upset and then we realized what our role was and our role in her life was to make her laugh and, and continue to make her laugh. So whatever that took, we decided one time we would write a book called The Book of Falls and every time that she would fall, we would start writing it down and what were the circumstances, what caused this, and uh, how funny was it, and who laughed first. Um, it has definitely um, broken my heart to see someone who has won uh, tennis tournaments at the Eastern Shore Country Club now confined to a bed because she has to pay all of her expenses out of pocket and she needs 70 hours a week uh, for in-home care, she's out of money. And right now she does not qualify for Medicaid. We're, we're trying and we're re, re, reapplying and seeing what we can do. Uh, but we need funds now before, until that happens. So just last week I came up with this harebrained idea um, what if I just had a yard sale? Well, you think, well, that's not going to raise much. But I appealed to the friends and neighbors on Sparrow Point Road and just asked them to clean out their houses and give it all to me and the proceeds would go to Joanne.
Well, we had a wonderful neighbor over here who had a, a, a booth at the Blue Crow and she had uh, closed that out and so she gave all of her merchandise to us. So we're sorting through that and there's wonderful retro, there's wonderful um, antiques, um, we have homemade quilts, we have um, some Turner sculptures actually um, that belong to Joanne that are now going on the auction block here. Um, fishing gear, uh, we have a canoe, we have scuba gear, Oh my gosh, mind boggles. <laughs> and we have plenty of parking. We have plenty of parking for anybody who wants to come. If you're coming Bayside Road either way, um, one way you'll see Hunger's Church. If you pass from the other way, you'll see Hunger's Church, then turn around. And you're going to turn on Church Neck. And then you'll um, pass uh, the winery, Chatham's Winery and then um, continue until you take a left on Sparrow Point. It's, it's Saturday, June the 29th, uh, 7 a.m. And I don't know when we'll close the doors, I guess. Uh, and then whatever is left, we may be taking to another spot um, in another weekend that we will let you all know. Right now, I'm laughing and I'm having fun. So I'm living. It might be just in this one room with a beautiful view and my lovely flowers from my garden that people pick for me, but it's awesome. My neighbors and friends of Linda's and people I don't even know, the outpouring of support for this fundraising yard sale that Linda came up with um, is just unbelievable. and. A testament to why the Eastern Shore is just great. The people here are wonderful. And it doesn't matter if it's me or anybody else. Uh, I think that there's always people around you on the shore willing to help. Everybody has their own burdens. You know, your burden might be an infected toenail, but it's no more or less significant in your life if you can't walk then my disease is in mine. So again, it's positive attitude, laughter, surround yourself with lovely, loving friends and family. Uh, anytime something has happened in this neighborhood, the neighbors rise up and come together. And that's what they've done with Joanne. Um, I don't know why it surprises and overwhelms me. It should have been just what I expected, uh, but it does still overwhelm me. I've had um, several say, well, we don't have anything, but we're going to give some monetary donations. And I'm like, well, that's just fine. We'll have a jar. <laughs> so we can certainly take care of that as well. It, it's, it's just the nature of the people. And I know it's not just the, this neighborhood. I know that this neighborhood is a microcosm of the Eastern Shore. And I've seen that again and again. Um, these are good folks that live here. And so we'll be looking for those good folks on Saturday. For Shore Perspectives and WESR Radio, I'm Kelly Gaskell.